Senator Roberts. Thank you, President. My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Communications, Senator Watt. Former Special Forces Commando Heston Russell repeatedly asked for a correction and an apology for stories the ABC published that defamed him and November plat platoon, platoon, accusing them of committing war crimes in Afghanistan at a time when they weren't even in that country. He offered to settle the case for $99,000, which the ABC refused and proceeded to trial. The defamatory articles were brought to the attention of Minister Rowland, the Minister for Communications, by a 26,000 signature petition, which she acknowledged on 20, 20th of March, and on which she failed to act. Minister, what is the cost to the taxpayer for the ABC's legal fees in this matter so far? Thank you. Senator Roberts. Minister Watt. Um, thank you, uh, Senator Roberts, for that question. Um, I'll have to take on notice the exact details of that question that you've asked for, um, and presumably these are matters that you'd also have the opportunity to ask the ABC at estimates next week. Um, uh, so happy to come back to you with any details that I can provide on that. Um, of course, the broader issue around any defamation action taken against uh, the ABC is really a matter for ABC management. Um, of course, this government believes in the independence of the ABC and, the, uh, in particular, its editorial independence. Um, uh, Senator Brannock, on the other hand, thinks that it's a biased organisation. That's a very disappointing remark uh, to make about the national broadcaster, but perhaps one we're used to after years of ABC cuts under the former government. Um, the it would appear that Senator Rennick is not the only member of the opposition who regards the ABC as biased. Um, again, very disappointing um, view to express about the national broadcaster, the only publicly funded broadcaster. Um, and again, it probably indicates why the ABC suffered such severe funding cuts under the former government. Um, so, Senator Roberts, um, you'll obviously have the opportunity to ask those questions of ABC management at estimates this week, uh, next week. Something that you um, and I know Senator Henderson always has questions for the ABC as well, so she'll no doubt do that again next week as well. Um, but the um, sorry, Senator Rustin, we get to answer the questions. So um, uh, Minister I've already, and I've already said. Minister Watt, order, order, order across the chamber, order. And Minister Watt, that. please uh, refer to me when you're answering the question. Senator Henderson. Just an indulgence. Uh, no, no, Senator Henderson, re resume your seat. Minister, please continue. Oh, have you finished your answer? Well, I actually uh, answered the question in the first five seconds by saying that I'd take those details on notice, but I'm obviously able to then comment on the, on the question more broadly, and that's what I've spent uh, one minute and 55 you, seconds Watt. doing. Uh, Senator Roberts, first supplementary. Thank you. The judge in this trial was scathing of ABC journalists involved in the case, saying they became defensive and considered any criticism merely part of a culture war attack, and this inhibited, quote, a proper remedial response to criticism. The ABC journalists thought they were part of a culture war, and that prevented them from acting impartially and reasonably, leading to a potential multi-million dollar bill to taxpayers. Minister. What consequences will the journalists involved face for eroding people's trust in the ABC, and why hasn't their employment already been terminated? Thank you, Senator Roberts. Minister Watt. Um, well, Senator Roberts, I'm pleased to inform you that Australia now has a government that doesn't have political interference in the ABC, uh, and so we have no intention of repeating the sort of intervention that we've seen uh, from some of the people who are yelling across the chamber now. Uh, in matters involving the ABC. These are matters uh, that are the responsibility of ABC management, and we respect their independence. Um, I understand, Senator Roberts, that the federal court has obviously handed down its decision in these defamation proceedings. There do remain several settlements, settlement matters before the court, um, so I probably shouldn't be commenting any further on what might happen there. And as I've said, the ABC is responsible for managing its legal matters, including defamation claims and, and litigation, just as any media proprietor, uh, whether it be publicly funded or privately owned, is responsible for managing its legal matters, including when it's sued for defamation. Um, we believe that the ABC is a trusted source of news, information and entertainment for all Australians, and we support Thank it. Thank you, Minister. Senator Roberts, second supplementary. Thank you, President. 
Minister, Heston Russell was a victim of disinformation published by the ABC in an ordeal that he has called the hardest battle he has ever fought. Can you please confirm that Minister Rowland's misinformation and disinformation bill would not cover the ABC and won't protect people like Heston Russell from government disinformation? Thank you, Senator Roberts. Minister Watt. Um, well, Senator Roberts, I'm very pleased that you've taken an interest in matters involving misinformation and disinformation. Um, I welcome your sudden interest in misinformation and disinformation, and I hope that that's something that you will retain an interest in uh, when it comes to election campaigns that you're involved in, Senator Roberts. I, I really do hope that you do that. Um, we'd like to hear a bit more about that. And Senator Canavan, he's a big fan of misinformation and disinformation as well. So. Um, I look forward to Senator Canavan supporting us in tackling misinformation and disinformation as well. Oh, um, Senator Rennick, we've got everyone. We've got all the, all the kings of misinformation and disinformation up commenting Order. today. Hello, Jared. How are you? Um, the, so, of course, um, the government does have legislation before the parliament to deal with misinformation and disinformation. We think that it is an important issue in today's media environment, particularly in the social media environment that we're operating under, uh, and we think that it's an important piece of legislation to deal with. Uh, thank you, Minister.